What up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode. Let's get this camera fixed a bit more. Yep. Alright, today it's a continuance from the unboxing. I'm not sure about this sliding. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, it's a continuance from the unboxing. But today, we're putting the toolkit to use. See how much of a bike you can pull down and build up with just the toolkit. So, let's have a look and see what we got. Now, I already know we've got to add more tools to this, so... But that's not the point. We'll go through that after we've finished. Alright. Bag empty. So, just put that to the side, because you'll need it again to pack and pick up. So, right. Let's see. We've got an Allen key. One side smaller than the other, which works out to be a five and a six. Then you got your pedal tool, which fits nicely. Nice grip on it with the Stay Lux logo. Then we got the socket pieces, which connect to the tool. And you get a 15, 17, and a 19. So, doesn't matter which wheels you're running. So, let's give this a shot and see what we can pull apart. And here's the one. <sighs> now, let me just change cameras. Wheels, I run the 17 on the back, 15's on the front, wheel mount, so we'll start with the front. Extension bar, and yeah, 15 all onto one tool. A great design. Let's see how well they work. Oh. Alright. Alright, straight off on the front, I already noticed the extension bar, not enough length. So, straight off, here's another extension bar piece. Now we got reach. Now I did say we're going to end up having to add more stuff to the toolkit. 
We need the extension bar for the rear. Take it off. And good. Change the head to the 17. Again. All right, you don't need a longer extension bar on the rear for auto. But it's only on the front that you're going to need it. The extra piece. Well, not too bad. And the handle, again, very comfortable. Fits into the palm nicely. Nice one. That's the back wheel. Now, told you more tools are going to be added slowly but surely. But that's what happens. Now, that ain't the crank, uh, your cranks, they're about an eight, give or take on the bike. That's my fit. So, once again, another Allen key being put into the toolkit. More or less for one bolt. But it happens. Alan Key. And your crank's around. So, you need to add an 8 mil depending on your bike but there are other tools that you're going to need but it will do alright, flipping the bike over that's that into the roof now the, you can remove your chain right now translate you need a chain breaker But I'm not even going to worry about that. I just want to show you the toolkit. Pull the bike apart. And more or less show you what extra tools you're going to need if you buy this kit. Which I recommend you do. So let's keep going. Now the Allen key, we all know. If that's everything else. Just comes down to your strength now. Oh, I don't keep going there. Don't tell me it's a different key again. Ah, here we go. Holy crap! Oh. Oh, I've done that way too tired. Wow. 
What the heck? I don't know why, but that's done up really tight, so I'll just grab a longer Allen key. Am I even using the right one? Yes. Please turn your eyes, do not try this at home. not wanting to move. Very strange. Alright. <clears throat> we'll try unloosening these ones first. done upside tight but there you go least and seat so there you go Allen key, um, cranks, new pedals, so you can take them off nicely. Your sockets, extenders. So more or less you can pull the whole bike down with this toolkit but like I said you do end up having to add more tools to it like 8mm allen key you never know your chain breaker you never know spoke tight on a tool mm -hmm. worst off 
besides your patches and all your new tubes, tie levers. You will need these sooner or later. But yeah, that's the Lux BMX kit. Toolkit. I was very lucky. Hope to get one. So, go now, get yours. They're actually pretty cheap compared to some of the tool kits out there. And, go ride. Hopefully, this tool, this gave you a decent look into what the tool kit's about. I'll get a better shot off them all set up for you, but hopefully you still enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.